Okay, so we are back with our last match of the day. It's going to be Jimmy playing Destiny versus Xander playing the Mega Pig deck. I almost picked Mega Pig. Would have probably fared better in that last game if I picked the Mega Pig. Yeah, Mega Pig is Meganium Delta with a Grum Pig. Grum Pig has an attack that does 10 times the amount of Pokemon in play. The Meganium has a power that allows you to put multiple Pokemon from your deck into play at a, at any moment. So the, if the deck gets rolling, it can s fill its bench up very quick and I'll put massive damage very, very quickly. The Grumpig does have a three energy attack for its main attack, but it may not make as big a difference. Say I don't have any basics. Yeah, but... Jimmy had no basics. The, Jimmy's hand was so garbage. They're gonna, they're gonna allow him to shuffle up and get a different hand so we can, for the sake of your entertainment. Yeah, so we can get a good game out of this. Last few weeks, our last game of the day has been our grindiest game to watch. So, kind of looking forward to a good game here. Yep. This game also. Hopefully will not take as long as the previous last couple of games <laughs> of the last game of the day. Thank you, Dan. Dan being the hero of the day, moving my mic. So Xander's going to go first. I told, I told Franco earlier that I had a new star prize. I looked at the list. Jimmy's talking about how he can't remember the cards in his own list here. And we're going to get started. Jimmy starts with the Mew EX. The Grumpig. That's not a Grumpig. Is that Grumpig? No, I wanted to call the basic Tep Pig, but I know that's wrong, and I've been getting basic Piglet? names done I'm gonna call it Piglet. all day. I'm going to call it Piglet. Spoink. That's, Spoink. that's its name. It's got that tail on it that if has a really dark Pokedex entry. If it stops bouncing, it dies. Pokemon do die, even though they get knocked out. I was once corrected at a Pokemon tournament when I was a senior when I said I'm going to kill that Garchomp and the kid had a mild breakdown. Oh, goodness. And said, they don't die, they get knocked out. And I'm like, okay. It was like that Waka Flocka gif where it was like, okay. So yeah, Jimmy holding an Absol EX in his hand. Absol EX was the the ability to move three damage counters from one Pokemon to another, uh, allowing you to take knockouts or set up set up knockouts on turns that your opponent was not expecting it, is is a huge play in this format. There there were a lot of decks that we've seen today play multiple Absols, or also include Super Scoop Up to reuse the Absols come into play ability, come into play power. So we'll see how prevalent it becomes in this matchup. No, no, that, that kid probably never played a Pokemon game in his life because in every gen there's some kind of tower in which the Pokemon are uh, laid to rest. Right, if that's the case, why did nobody ever bring back Cubone's mother, man? It's a Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan? No, it's a Kangaskhan. That's that's the Pokemon theory that it's a Kangaskhan. That's, and that's the skull that it has. Well, I hope you had fun on, on your vacation. Yep, this is our last match of the day, but we tried to pick a couple of decks that we thought would fend very well against each other. So we're looking forward to a good match here. Everyone has some flick poisoning going on. Yeah, Xander's going to read the Rosalia. Definitely want to know what that does because it can get very annoying. Uh, bringing up Meganiums and poisoning them uh, may be pretty difficult for Xander to get Meganiums off of the active position unless he starts attacking with them. 
Um, nine out of Ben, for future reference, I don't know if you know this, on our YouTube page, uh, Top Cut Network, we have the last two weeks' worth of retro games broken down into into their individual games. And then, well, this week will also be on YouTube sometime next week. And the poll will be up uh, on Tuesday in Snowpoint Temple for, uh, for that. Well, we had 2010 first week, 2006 last week. So Jimmy's going to go ahead and copy the Flick Poison attack with Mew EX. Bringing up that Chikorita, poisoning it. Using that very fancy poison counter. Jimmy's using some psychological advantages by trying to serenade Xander. Is that a castaway? It may be. That yep. is a castaway. So it looks like castaway is going to go get a mentor for the following turn. The tools does this deck play? Is play buffer? I assume it probably plays like a buffer piece. Oh, strength charm. Definitely strength charm. I I assume. Um, it may play the. I believe it was called Crystal Shard. It would turn your Pokemon colorless so that you could get around so that you could get around resistances and stuff like that as the game as the game progressed. Strength charm? Yep, looks like strength charm. Oh, gonna there change goes mine. strength charm. TV report. Yeah, there's the Grump Pig. Any damage done to Grump Pig by fire and water Pokemon is reduced by 30. Uh, do not think that makes any difference in this matchup. Uh, might make a difference if there were some evolutions. Is it bad that that reminds me that when I get home, I'm going to start smoking some pulled pork <laughs> for tonight? I'm sure Grump Pig would not be thrilled to hear that. Um, but... Well, I'm sorry, Grump Pig, that your, your yeah, pigs taste know. good. The Grump Pig also being weak to Psychic here is going to make it extremely vulnerable to the Mew EX, being able to use any attacks it chooses. As so, long as it has the energy to do so. Yes. So Xander is definitely going to want to... If Grump Pig attacks into this Mew, he'll want to make sure there's not a follow-up Mew as best he can. So Jimmy has not played a supporter last turn. Looks like he does have a copycat in his hand, so... Should be able to see some it, some new cards. Attaches yeah. to that's an attachment. That is a sensation crystal, I believe. Yep. To the Lickitung. And gonna copycat for five cards, I believe it was. Take a look at the Lickitung. Lickitung is rather interesting. Also, lap up, draw two cards. Only gave up one prize card, so. Was not as much a loss losing it. Sometimes just getting a couple more cards in your hand and seeing more in your deck, digging further into your deck was all you needed to do. The uh, the Delta Mine attack is also going to be very good in this matchup. Uh, Delta specifically is going to put three damage counters on anything with Delta in its name. So getting that active with the sa Sensation Crystal on it can definitely cause some problems for Xander. Fifth card for Jimmy. Mighty Anna wants to know, what is the point of the Sableye? I didn't really play a whole lot in this format. You did more than I did. Where's Sableye? What is the point of that Sableye that's in Xander's hand right there? Um, I don't remember which Sableye was. I know there's a, the dark one that allows you to put the disable and... Yeah, I definitely like do that, not that remember what not that Sableye that does. Uh, we can probably get that pulled up in just a minute. Give that a read. Dan's, Dan's looking for it. Uh, 
We're gonna take a read at the save a lie. I don't know if we have it's power keepers. Here's the here's the save a lie. If Fiobi's stadium is in play, prevent all damage done to save a lie from your opponent's EX Pokemon. Um, I assume faint attack could do some snipes. Well, the deck, the deck should also play the the stadium card that the body is referring to, since most of the Pokemon in the deck are psychic. So it'll cause the stadium card re referred to on the Sableye causes all non-psychic Pokemon to have two more retreat, an additional two retreat cost. So being able to block off an EX Pokemon and make them need more energy to retreat so it doesn't play may, the may just be a, a, a slight stall tactic for this deck to get going, since it really does need the Meganium in play to... I'm, I'm going to make a bold, because it doesn't play the Stadium. It doesn't? I guess it doesn't. That's what my So draw down, us. choose... I mean, the Snipe Attack? That has got to be my guess. Is there a way Is to, it? like, set two cards at the bottom and not shuffle to where you could down draw into what you want? I don't think so. Destiny. Team Polyswag. Team Polyswag, you missed a Politoed game earlier. It won against me, unfortunately. <laughs> I had a scoop. It was rough. I did not think we'd have to see the Polystall deck. I voted for it. I know you voted for it. I just didn't think we. I didn't think most people would vote for it. It didn't. I didn't. I was like one of like the five people. I just wanted to play. I just like Politoed. We see a Jirachi EX at the discard pile. Uh, interesting card. It doesn't look like Jimmy's going to want to use it this game, though. This might be game. Jimmy is announcing that he, he, he might got him. He might get got. So the Rayquaza EX body allows you to attack for... It allows you to... Attack for one colorless less. If you are losing... If you're currently losing... Jimmy's winning right now. But he could copy the attack with Mew, which is what it appears that he yeah. did. Yeah, so Special Circuit is going to be able to uh, do 50 damage to any Pokemon with a body or power. He's going to smack that Grump Pig on the bench. Usually our last game is our best game. I mean, still might turn out to be half decent, but yeah, I feel like Jimmy's just getting a Meganium in play in this this game can definitely go the distance. We're we're only at five to five to six prizes right now. All this this Rayquaza will cause problems as Xander continues to try to set up here. Um, even if the Pokemon does not have a power or a body, the Rayquaza can snipe for thirty damage. It appears that Xander grabbed a Bayleaf there. So, likely hoping that this Chikorita does not get knocked out. Jimmy focuses more on the... So retreat the Bayleaf. Do the pig. Down goes the Mew here. I... Four, five, six. So we'll be doing 140? Yeah. Knockout. But 140 after weakness. It does exclude Grumpig, so it counts your opponent's active, does not count your active Jimmy when is factoring down the now damage. In prizes. So he, he, he does have the ability just to attach a multi or an electric energy to the Rayquaza. But Jimmy only got four cards in hand. Does not look like any energy. The cup kit. Has, no, a, a, has a warp point, so may be able to stall a little bit here. If Xand Xander just has an energy, though, he'll be able to retreat that Bay Leaf. Into look at them and pass. So Jimmy doesn't have much going on, but Xander does not have any. Here's the top deck to cast form. Oh, and we're going to see a Meganium hit board. Oh, the best Gen 2 starter. Arguably one of the best starters of all time in the Flower Dinosaur. Dan is wrong. Don't listen to Dan. That is not objectively false. That it's a dinosaur with a beautiful flower around its neck. It is underappreciated. 
I'm tired of seeing the hate on Meganium. In when it's a rough, and it's the, it's most. It's, if you want to play those games, it is a complicated task to start with Meganium <laughs> because your first two gyms are not easy. Start with Chikorita, my bad. You don't start with Meganium. Can I something else? Yeah. You're gonna search your deck still or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Xander gonna backtrack a little bit. He's gonna cast play cast form instead of searching for a single Pokemon here. Looks like the strength charm might might be important here. Four, five, six. Go to strength charm, the, finding energy mentor. The Lickitung is weak to psychic. Blaziken's just a battle chicken. And Swampert is better. <laughs> I liked when you got a free Mega Blaziken in later games. That, that was, was really cool. That, that was pretty neat. I wish I'd known I did not need a fire starter when starting that game. There have been good <laughs> Blazikins in the TCG. Um, like I, there, there was, there wasn't there a a Guardy, a Guardy uh, Blaziken deck or something like that. Uh, not, not this year. That might have been like 2004, 2005 maybe. I, I remember there had there has been. A half a half decent Blaziken, a couple of them. There was definitely Afterburner. The first there was one. definitely Blaziken decks and Gardevoir decks. I I I remember the Afterburner Blaziken the first time it came out, and people were playing that a bit. So Jimmy's gonna uh, drop a stump. If there is no Counter Stadium from Xander, this is going to limit their both of their benches to three, which will. Cause the damage I'll put on Grumpig to be reduced. Is the Meganium even remotely good of an attacker? I couldn't say. But it looks like he's going to search for the Grass Meganium. Yeah. Thank you, Diff. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the, I believe the, the Gardevoir and Blaziken that got played the most during those years actually came out in like pseudo starter decks so they were extremely accessible to people so if i knock you out and then uh the scaling room will talk between turns to station yeah i mean five damage opponent if you do this attack is 50 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on meganium this way so it would allow him to max out at 100 damage but he would have to put five damage counters on himself and you'll get to remove one yeah, the body, the healing aroma will allow him to heal one damage from each of his Pokemon. But yeah, uh, Ben, um, there was an heals ten from each Pokemon. Yeah, the, there was a Blaziken the, that came out that had the pseudo reprint, the Afterburner in Celestial Storm, that was already existent and in, in saw uh, saw some saw some play. So, this game is, it's an interesting one. We thought it was going to, we, we looked like it was going to be over very quick, and our last match of the day is kind of standing strong, and it's poisoned. He got keep slick going poisoned. here. Does this... Does Mega Pig play any stadium to counter the stump? I would I would hope so. Or plays Windstorm at the very least. Yeah, it's got to play one of the two. I'm honestly a little surprised it doesn't play the Xander just took out the the psychic the, stadium that ups the retreat cost. I mean, there are better stadiums for the year, but like Battle Frontier. Yeah, it just seems good with the Grump Pig. Although getting the Meganium out of there with that stadium in play would become a pain. There's no stadium or windstorm in Mega Pig. Rough. There's no stadium in here. So that giant stump is out to pssst, out with staying. That's a weird choice to not play counter stadiums in a deck that has a stadium that deeply affects it. So so your bench is 
True. So Jimmy playing a Holland's researcher here. Gonna there. search for an executor. I forgot about Blaze can FB. And it looks like Jimmy just passed. No energy in hand to, to keep attacking with this Rayquaza. And damage will continue to heal as long as the Meganium is in the active spot. It's just bulky. I mean, it's not super, super bulky. We're going to see another Strength Charm. And a knockout on the Rayquaza with only... Game. It's going to be game. It's game. Yeah, I, I, I played Steelix at Nats and lost real bad to a Blaziken FB deck. It was a rough time. But that was... Uh, that wasn't our usual last game of the day. Well, the last game can't always be the best one. <laughs> but uh, I hope you all had a wonderful time. Happy Fourth of July. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll be back next week. We'll be back next week.